What does Carmelo Anthony bring to the, has, has he brought to this team other than the obvious, the scoring, the rebounding, but like in the locker room outside of what we see? Um, you know, he's just an overall good guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of different things that, that goes unnoticed. Just his ultimate sacrifice is number one, and then uh, just being a team guy is, is always important as well. During well, 9-0 run in the third quarter last night, you and Carmelo and Steven got together real quickly after a, a Pelicans turnover and then got a, a really nice play on the offensive end. How important are those quick moments of communication just in the in the heat of the battle like that? Very important. Being at read the game and seeing what defense is doing. Carmelo said that down the stretch last night, too, there's a lot of, um, I guess, deliberateness about hunting the exact shot that you wanted on each possession. Why was that possible? Um, just reading and reacting. You guys had success this year against the Warriors, two for two and one, and two pretty solid victories. What what is it that makes you guys a pretty good matchup with him? I don't even know. Do you like Billy mentioned the length on the perimeter with guys like Houston and Corey and Andre before he's hurt and Paul. How much does that help when you're playing a team like Golden State? Helps a lot. Why do you think Steven – why is Steven Adams such a good offensive rebounder? What do you see in what he does out there? Timing, um, his physicality, his size, um, you know, his consistency to get the ball, um, his effort. It's a lot of things that goes into it, um, and he does it over and over again, so you have to always pay attention to him. Is he the strongest guy in the league, Russ? Um, probably, I mean, that I know.